What's up everybody, this is Chargedrum, and today we have another Evic Box of Awesomeness unboxing for you guys. This time we have the Gas Blowback Edition, uh, February 2024, Box of Awesomeness. I'm pretty excited to open this box because I think there's only one AEG in this entire box. I know, they kind of threw in a curveball there. But other than that, the box is a decent size, so hopefully we didn't get that AEG and we got something pretty cool. But anyways, let's go ahead and open this box. All right, box is opened. Let's go ahead and see what we got. All right, guys, first up in the box, we have a weapons cash card. We have the EMG Custom Type B uh, card. It's the uh, Jack of Spades, so that's pretty cool. Um, I love these cards, and I love the black finish on the background. Definitely better than the white. They just pops the gun right out. So this thing is absolutely insane, and I'm very excited to... Uh, continue through this box because the box is looking pretty promising. So let's go ahead and go on to the next item. Next up, we got some uh, e-popper targets. We got one. They're like stuck together. Oh. Two. Three. Four. Five, six. We have a bunch of e-popper targets. But yeah, Evic, keep sending me these targets. I just... I love having so many targets that I have no where to put these things. I mean, these things are cool. I mean, no hate against Evic, so they definitely make better than a paper target, so I definitely love these things, so thank you, Evic, for your e-popper targets. On to the next item. We got one, we got two, and we got three of these dart jars. Uh, 300 darts, you know, just like last time, a ton of darts that I have no clue what to do with. And with those darts comes the dart gun. We have the Model S by Sita. Uh, these things are pretty cool. It's just I have no use for them because I don't play this foam dart thing. I'm not intrigued like this uh, nice gentleman here with his red Model S dart gun. Um, I always get the red one. I've, I've never gotten the blue one. I, I've just now noticed that. I, I think this is my fourth one. Never once have I gotten the, uh, the blue one. Um, at least change it up sometimes, but let's go ahead and open this box. We got... Get out of here. We got this thing. I just loaded it backwards. This thing is ambidextrous, well not ambidextrous, but there is no right or wrong way to opening this thing. I have no clue what to shoot this at. That's not gonna destroy something. Let's take it off safe. That flew somewhere. Is there like an enhanced spring in this thing? What's going on here? Because this thing is like nuts all of a sudden. But that's cool too. I have no clue what I'm supposed to do with this thing. So back in the box it goes. Let's go ahead and see what else we got. All right guys, next up in this box, we got a galaxy box. Let's go ahead and see which model we got. Nice, we got the silver galaxy. I think this is the 1911 version. Indeed it is. These versions seem to have problems sometimes, though. They just have, um, like, nozzle issues sometimes. This thing's pretty cool. I definitely, uh, I'm a fan right now. I just, I hate the magwell of this thing. It does not help whatsoever. It just makes putting it in a two-step process because you have to literally use a finger. You hear that clicking. It's a pain in the ass to get in there. It's just it's just a little Ruger type gun. I, I I think it's pretty sick. I mean, it's a it's a very clean model. I love the grooves in the side of this the barrel. Um, it came with some little uh, rail segments, so let's go ahead and install those actually. And the rail segments are on. Now this thing looks pretty clean. It's a fit for a red dot and possibly a flashlight laser combo. So that's pretty neat. I definitely love the uh, the nice Ruger bolt on this thing. It's got a little bit of play in there. Yeah, a little mini fake extractor right there. A 
this thing is sick. I definitely love how clean these things look. And throw a tracer on the front of this, throw a nice little, uh, I don't know, like a SRO type red dot on here, and you're good to go. This thing is, this thing is just built ready. Except for when it has the little nozzle issues, but we don't talk about that. This thing is clean, and I'm excited to shoot it. And it has a dual safety either side. The grip feels pretty clean. I love the uh, the silver um, grip screws on the side. It just gives it that, that nice finish. You got your grip safety here. And uh, back grip piece is even uh, not. Nah. It's, it's got little grooves in it, so it feels nice, you know what I'm saying? And it was made in Taiwan. So, this thing is pretty cool. I love the uh, the green true glow, and um, yeah, very excited to shoot this. But, let's go ahead and see what else we got. I am super excited to open this next box. Next up, we have a Black Rain Ordinance box. This is one of my favorite companies, and I am truly excited to see what we got in this box. I think we lucked out because Black Rain Ordinance has some really, really nice gas blowback guns. And I'm truly excited to see which gun we got in this box. So, let's see what we got. Whew! Look at this thing, guys. Oh, man. Look at this. Did it come with the mag yet? Mag's nice, just hiding up there. Look at this thing, guys. We have the the BRO 9mm gas blowback rifle and the warning label is just falling off right now. Look at this thing, dude. It just take Glock mags? What is this? Nah, it's its own type of mag. Oh, it had a little bit of gas in there. Oh my god, just listen to how that locks. Oh my gosh, this thing is amazing. I am in love with it. Let's extend this stock out a bit. Look at this. Oh, oh my gosh. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. And I am so excited to shoot it. We got our, our safety here, our singles, full auto. So, something that I'm noticing. So, I can't switch it to single right now because I pulled the trigger. But, cock it back, I can set it to safe. I'm not sure if it's supposed to do that, but, yeah, see, I can't I can't put it back on, on, on safe for some reason. I don't know, maybe it's just a, a small little issue, but, God, this thing feels heavy, nice. I love it. I am so excited to shoot this, guys. You have no idea. And the sights, oh my gosh. I just love the weight of the bolts, too. And the bolt looks almost real in there. Let it rain. Oh, it's it feels amazing, guys. You have no idea. I am so, so, so excited to shoot this thing. It looks beautiful. It looks absolutely stunning, and I definitely lucked out on this box. If you're if you're on the field with one of these bad boys, you're rocking the battlefield. You're definitely showing off because this thing is so sick. This is probably the coolest gas blowback rifle I've ever touched in my life. I just love the bolt. I love the way the bolt feels. It's just it's fantastic. It's phenomenal and I am truly satisfied with this gun. With that being said, let's go shoot some guns.
This thing is so cool. I love shooting anything that's Black Rain Ordnance. This thing just felt so amazing in my hand. I loved the gas wheel back kick. It had barely any kick, but it had just enough kick that it felt so cool. There's, it's not really kick, it's mostly just the parts on the inside making it feel like there's kick. This thing is so incredibly nice, I cannot tell you how happy I am that I have this thing. It is beautiful, I love the way that the handguard feels, no matter how I hold it, it feels right. At, like, and it's M-Lock, I can put whatever I want on the bottom. I, I definitely like M-Lock handguards the best because it's just, you don't have to feel that Picatinny crap. If you want something on it, you put Picatinny on it. Other than that, this thing is sick. What I would do probably is take off these front and rear sights, throw a laser on the front here, and throw a nice little, uh, I don't know, a micro red dot on top. Some sort of, not micro, but like a, you know, maybe like an S, not an SRO, what is it called? Like the little hollow sun type things. I would throw that on here and call it a day. The magazine, it holds just enough to feel like it's a Milsom type gun. I, I genuinely don't know what to say about this thing other than how much I love it. This is definitely a nice gun and I'm 100% satisfied. Thank you so much. As for the, uh, the little galaxy here, we've covered these on our channel before, so it's nothing new, but it's a pretty nice gun and I definitely liked planking the uh, targets in the back with this thing so this this thing is nice I, I definitely think it's a, a good little uh, 1911 Ruger style mixed up gun it's it's fun it's definitely a fun little gun to have anyways guys thank you all for watching I hope you enjoyed this video leave a like if you did leave a comment as to what your favorite part of the video was I hope to see you next time thank you all for watching and have a good one